morning, Durant. Today is Tuesday, May 8th. I'm Travis Gamble with your news. And I'm Jason Kermit with your sports. Please stand for a moment of silence and remain standing for a pledge to the flag. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Here's Mr. Pree with some information on final transcripts. Good morning. This, is, this information is for seniors, but juniors, sophomores, and freshmen, please listen because this is what you will be going through when you are a senior. Senior, tomorrow, Mrs. Justice will put out through homeroom a form for your final transcript. Please remember that your admission to college is provisional on receipt of this final transcript. So this is an extremely important step for you. You must send a final transcript to the college of your choice. Tomorrow, you will receive this goldenrod form in homeroom, and it will ask you for the name of the college to which you want your final transcript sent. If it is one of the Florida uh, public colleges or universities, those will go electronically. However, if it is a private university in the state of Florida or a, fl a college outside the state of Florida, you will need to provide an envelope with at least 76 cents of postage and it must be addressed to the university. Again, this will happen tomorrow. You will get the form. You will need to turn it into Mrs. Justice by May 18th and it does require a fee of $2. Thank you and I'll see you tomorrow. Now here's reporter Janelle Diaz talking with Justin Cleveland about his latest accom accomplishments. I'm here with Justin Cleveland, winner of the Dreamers and Doers Award. Today he's going to be going to Disney. Justin, could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, we're going to have a banquet where I'll eat, and then we're going to have the award ceremony. How many people applied for the Dreamers and Doers Award? Well, numerous people applied throughout the state, and they chose one student per county. Are there any specific requirements you had to have in order to receive this award? They look at the overall student, the GPA, the leadership abilities, the activity. How many people do you think applied for this? I have no idea. And what makes you so special that you received this above other students? Well, I just guess I just got lucky. What kind of prizes are you going to be winning tonight? Well, they gave me four free tickets to Disney World, and I don't know what else they're going to give me. Well, I hope you have a good time, Justin, and congratulations. I'm Janelle Diaz reporting for DNews. Copies of the talent show are now available. Here's more. Band is, going to, band is going to state competition. Here's Diego Quinko with more. Here with Luke Figuski, Chris Morrow, and Tim Hooper. They're in band, and they're going to state competition today. Now, uh, what do you guys do to prepare for this event? Um, we practiced a lot and played a lot in class, and whenever we got yelled at, we fixed whatever we were doing wrong. Okay. Now, uh, where's it going to be at? Daytona. All right. And uh, what are you guys going to be playing? And three songs, Blue Shades, A Festival Prelude, and His Honor. Sounds good. I'm oh, Diego yeah. Krinkle reporting. I'm Diego Krinkle reporting for 10 years. Back to you guys in the studio. Thespians, if you are planning on attending the annual Thespian Banquet and Mason Awards, you need to give a count of how many people are attending to Mr. Mason. Speaking of Thespians, they have a new production coming up. Here's Donnie Maxwell with more. I do declare this has to be the most dreadful evening Tudball County has ever seen. Every soul is just plain wilted. Now I just saw a hound dog chasing a rabbit down the road. Now what's so unusual about that? Well, they were walking. 
I didn't think you were talking to me. Oh, excuse me. I left this car that was here a moment ago. I thought I was talking to her. Yes, well, you're not anymore. A lot of cargo. I see her in some movies. Where she belongs? Not in a place like Bell Acres. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'm Donnie Maxwell here with Amy Rowe, which is the director of Murder and the Magnolias. She's going to tell us a little bit about the play. Here she is. Um, on May the 11th and 12th and 18th and 19th at 7 in the um, auditorium, we're going to be having uh, Murder and the Magnolias, which is our last play of the year. It's a murder mystery comedy about um, the colonel whose treasure gets lost and they try to find it and everybody gets murdered. And the tickets are $6 at the door and $4 ahead of time. We're going to be selling them at all three lunches. So I really hope you guys all come out. Thanks. Donnie Maxwell for D-News. Back to you guys in the studio. Tickets for Murder in the Magnolias will be on sale today during all lunches. All newly elected junior class council members need to report to room 209 on Thursday, May 10th at 3.05 p.m. right after school for a brief meeting. That's all I have today with news. Here's Jason Kermy with your sports. Thanks, Travis. Two of Durant's food prep students have recently been accepted to participate in a week-long culinary arts program. Here's the news reporter Kristen Woods and Ms. Thomas with more. Hello, I am here with Mrs. Thomas today who has a special presentation with a couple of students from Durant High School. I would like to introduce Chad Barron and Crystal Beach. They made applications to the Restaurant Association of Florida and the Johnson Wells University in Miami. Uh, they applied to go and spend one week at the Pro Start Invitational, they were selected based on their um, essay and their grades and teacher recommendations. Their goals and aspirations are to be in the culinary arts industry. There are two students out of 20 in the state of Florida to have been selected, and we're real proud of them. They were hopefully will be attending Johnson & Wales at one of their campuses. They have several different ones, and um, whenever they leave there, they will be in our culinary industry, and who knows, we may have the next Emerald standing next to us. On behalf of the faculty and staff, we would just like to congratulate these two students on such a prestigious award. It is indeed an honor that they are representing Durant when you consider that only 20 students statewide were accepted. Again, congratulations, Crystal. Chad, congratulations. This is Kristen Woods reporting for D News. There will be an extremely important mandatory meeting for all those planning to play girls soccer next season tomorrow after school in Coach Sheffield's room. There will also be an exciting meeting after school for next year's swim and dive team. Shirts will be available for 8.50. It will begin at 3 p.m. Once again, here's the musically and vocally inclined Diego Cuenca with the show choir audition. Start, guys. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. The 2001-2002 Okay. okay. All personal belongings will be donated to Goodwill. Girls track members, there will be a brief meeting today after school at room 207. It regards your awards picnic, so please try to attend. The Durant Cougar baseball team is working their way to the top of, to the top of this season. Tonight, the Cougars take on Venice Beach in the game that determines state to participation. So we wish the guys good luck in their game and watch, th watch this message from a few of your favorite baseball players. Yes, I'm Steve Beeler. And I'm John Six. And I'm Mike Grace. And we're just here to tell you all about the game tonight. It's at Venice at 7.30. And it's about an hour and a half for you guys in the cars and two hours for us on the bus. And if you can, this is really important to us, regional finals game. We would like to have your support down in Venice. There are directions in the main office. Uh, this is a big game. If we win this game, we go to the state tournament at Legends Field, which will be next week. And it should be a lot of fun, and hopefully we can have a lot of support come out to Legends Field. So uh, please come out and show us some support if you can, and if you can't, just show up next Friday at Legends Field for us. We'll really appreciate it. 
Thanks a lot, and have a nice day. The news rocks! And now for a message from the desk of Miss Bennett. All off-season athletes will have their lockers cleaned out by Miss Bennett this Friday. All personal belongings will be donated to Goodwill. And finally, all girls who ran track this year need to turn in their uniforms to Coach Washington as soon as possible. And that's all I have with sports. That's all I have with your news. Thanks, Thanks. for watching. And have a great day.